Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this review. I bought this at Michael's and it's something for baking. I make a lot of cupcakes and I wanted to give this a try. I haven't even opened this yet, but this is what it looks like, like from the store. I bought it at Michael's and it's super affordable. I'm so excited about this. And here it talks about what it is and it says that instructions are on backside. So this is the instructions, I guess. This is what you are going to be doing. So yeah, I'm just going to remove the tape that comes here. It's not for dishwasher, but it's safe for food. So this is what this looks like from outside. It's plastic and it has two windows and you carry like that. It's got a logo, it says Bakelicious. It's got these two things and then from the back this is what it looks like. So it's nice and looks clean. You open it like this, pushing these two things and it opens. It's got space for 12 cupcakes. So you place your cupcakes like this. I don't have real ones right now, but just to give you an example. I read online that a lot of people didn't like it because they don't like it how it smashed the frosting. Like for instance, this is the space for the cake, part of the cupcake. But a lot of people like to add a frosting like up to here. And when they close it with the frosting, it like smudges the uh, the frosting and this is because this is the space that you get this is how much frosting you're gonna be able to to add to your cupcake when you are using this I don't have an issue with that because I don't add a lot of frosting on my cupcakes I just like to have like the same amount of frosting to what I have on the cake part like, that's my personal preference but I know that this is not gonna be an issue for me because this is enough a room for frosting I don't need much but if you add more frosting this is just one thing to keep in mind that probably you're going to end up with frosting in here now when I make cupcakes I just make them to eat them at home I use this sort of you know when you go to a bakery and they give you those plastic things um, you know, they close and open, but it's just for the moment. I used to clean them and just reuse them. I would always break them from this part, so I'm hoping this is not gonna be an issue for me. Doesn't look like it's gonna break anytime soon. I'm as well going to be using this for storage. If I'm using any frosting that has like cream cheese or a lot of butter or something like that. So I'm going to bake some cupcakes, whip some uh, frosting, and I'm just gonna place them here so you can see what I'm talking about. Hopefully it's not like too bright because sometimes the sun is um, not helping. Goes on, goes off, things like that. As far as I now can tell, this kind of things can happen. It has like space for the frosting itself. I tried to make this uh, roses, like piping roses. It didn't work in some cases, in some cases it's like this and these are some Valentine's cupcakes here on my channel. But if you go with your 1M all the way to the edges, you're going to probably have some issues when you're trying to just arrange them. And I'm just going to close it to see how much. And then I'm just going to open it to see if it's transferred. It's clean, so you're good to go with like regular rose pipings. And then to take them off, you just have to be really careful using my two fingers, pulling them off, and I can see already have some frosting in there. My frosting, this one doesn't crust. It's just whipping cream with some uh, cream cheese. But if you're frozen crust, you're probably not gonna have this issue. It doesn't have like a lot of space between each cupcake, not giving you a lot of like freedom to just move around and just remove your cupcake. But with that being said, if it had more space between each cupcake, it would be just way too long. And as it is, I'm having like issues storing this on the fridge. It's quite handy. Um, I feel like it's going to last me a long time. I just wish that they had like this gap right here in here so just when you want to take this one on the edges it would be easier to just see what I mean by that it would be just easier to just um, take it from there you can just place them like this and just start giving them in this order like this because we have this like indentation here which is quite helpful and overall I love it I think it's a good idea to store cupcakes like for some nice animation for the doesn't sell or has a business bakes at home 12 at a time and wants to you know store them in the fridge so they don't go bad people like me individual purposes this is a good idea I would just recommend it because it's handy I can just store them on the fridge and then eat them fresh I really hope you like this one let me know if you have any questions down below 
And don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think of this. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. Thank you so much for watching and see you later.